How are you doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Age Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Now, I'm going to show you where you were cheating your projector by investing your money on what we call dirty paint, mud paint, whatever it is. It is what it is. It's pretty much cheap paint. Now, I can show you where I can mix up some cheap paint and I can put this against our technology and show you the difference between our technology and some cheap muddy paint. Now, over here, uh, like I said, I'm going to show you how it's made. Now, I guarantee that others won't do this because this is pretty much what they're using. Most of the time, and if you've seen someone already do this already, it's a couple of teaspoons of black into white, and this is what it pretty much makes. It makes different shades. Now, if you put more black into it, you get a darker version. If you put less into it, you put you get a lighter version of it. There's no science behind it. They sprinkle a little glitter into it and other little things they do to try to make it. Some guy was even using nail polish. First of all, you can't use nail polish because nail polish is acrylic. This is water based. Water based and acrylic and oil based do not mix, they separate. You really need to really seriously people need to stop sometimes. They really do. Because you're gonna mess around and hurt somebody doing this nonsense. Anyway, so this is what it really is. This is all it is. It's just basically white paint with a couple of teaspoons of black and that's it. There's no science behind it. There's a reason why you got companies, big companies out there like Elite Screen, the DMP Supernova and so forth because there's a science that goes behind their technology. They can take this paint and say, hey look, check it out. You can mix your mixture up. You can throw a sample sheet against it and I guarantee it'll look better than this. And it will. It wouldn't be in business if they didn't. So all right here, over here, we're going to make it a little hard. We're going to use our not 3200 lumen, not 4K projector, none of that. We're going to use a 200 lumen Brookstone projector. That's it. That's all we're going to use because, you know, I see a lot of these demonstrations where people are using high power projectors. We're going to eliminate the high power projector. We're just going to go at 200 lumens in 720p, right? Around, around about uh, 10 feet. And some change all right now keep in mind I've seen people do this on 50 lumens and usually the 50 lumen projector will be sitting right up on top of the screen with this little tiny little tiny square screen and it'll be sitting right up on top of it so that way they don't lose any picture quality because the farther they pull back that projector the pixelations would have to expand and that would cause the image to deteriorate so the far, the closer it is the more tighter the pixelations would have to push together the sharper the image would be and basically leaving out as much light as possible around the screen because it would wash out the screen just to prove that it does work when it really doesn't all right so here we are we have our different shades. I'm going to call this the, I'm going to block this real quick. Where's my piece of cardboard? I got a piece of cardboard here on the floor to block this really quick. I don't want you to see it yet. Let me go. Well, this projector starts it pretty quick. I'm just going to turn it off real quick. Now I'm going to show you the screens of shame. We have white paint. We have, this is actually made by adding in a couple more teaspoons of black, which makes this into white. Less, or a few less teaspoons of black, which gives it that kind of a dark gray. Mind this, none of this is silver. Uh, uh, over here to get a lighter version, just probably a teaspoon into a quart. That's pretty much how you would get this. Pretty much. So it's the same, same song. It's the same song. And just to add insult to injury, to make it even harder, we're going to add in the spotlights, 200 watt spotlights. Okay, so we got a 200 lumen Brookstone projector over here. And let's see the results we get from our technology versus uh, everyday cheap screen paint. Okay, here we go. So let's turn on our projector here. All right. And we're going to do a snow, snow scene first to show you the white levels. I don't even know if the picture is on or not to tell you that you. Oh, there it is. I just saw something pop up. Like, it's so dark, I can't even tell if it's on or not. Now, this is the reason why. You can take a 200 lumen projector with our technology and turn your lights on. I've done this upstairs with the, um, actually at nine feet back, I've done this on the, the, um, the um, Platinum Nano, Platinum Slate Nano. I've also done this on a few of our black screens and I've also done this on the black Nano also too. So here we are. You see anything here? We'll start it real quick. So usually when it's on pause, it's, it, it, it gets a little darker, but now it's playing. So can you see anything? Of course you can't. Now let's take out our lights. Because, you know, this is where you're going to be at anyway. Because that's the only way your screen is going to pick up. This is why I make these statements when somebody says, well, why don't you turn on all the lights? That doesn't make it harder. That makes it easier. Now, you see the white screen, regular white paint, is brighter, has better contrast than this. Look how dirty that looks. 
All right, now we're going to go back and we are going to grab our technology and show you the difference between our technology and then cheap, cheap, cheap muddy paint. All right, so first we'll start off with putting it near the white. I want you to see the difference between the white and the dark, dark uh, um, paint. There we are. That camera to focus a little better. That has a difference on 200 lumens versus a white screen. So at 200 lumens, our screen is producing a higher white level than the color white itself. Look at the dark screen. It's supposed to be a heavy contrast screen. All they do is add in a couple more teaspoons of black into it to get that darker. No science behind it. It is what it is. That's what you're getting. All right, let's switch it over here and let's bring it between the light, this, uh, the um, dark light and the light screen. We just call it dark light because that's pretty much what it is. All right, so this is what we're getting from our technology from here. Better detail than the light screen. Sorry, focus on that. A little funny. Better detail than the light screen right here. Oh, behave. Okay, I'm going to hold it real quick. Better detail than the light screen. So you can see our screen right here. This is our technology. And you can see the light screen right here. And then right there you see the uh, more of a darker uh, gray screen. And you can see the difference that our technology is far better. Now see, I can test my technology against high-end projection screens, but also too, I can come on here and I can show you the difference between my technology and everyday cheap screen paint to show you that our technology is not what you think it is. All right, so now we got the lights on. Got the lights on, look at the snow scene. Look at our screen with the lights on. Now let's add some insult to injury. Let's go over here and let's hit those 100 watt lights, turn them on, see what happens. All right. Doesn't face the screen one bit. I'm not even gonna bother turning out the lights, there's no point. If you want me to turn out the lights and see exactly how the other screen is gonna hold up under this kind of lighting. Yeah, okay, let's, let's humor everyone. Let's have a little fun here. So this is pretty much what we're getting. I think my video bypassed. Hold on for a minute. There we go. Ran out of time on the video. There we go. Now we're back in business. So there you go. Lights on. 200 lumens. That's 100 watts of light there and 100 watts of light there directly on top of the screen. At 10 feet back. And some change on 200 lumen projector. All right, now, we'll come out of here and we'll grab, um, let's see, let's grab some flowers. I'm going to grab some color. So I'm going to remove my screen off first of all. I'm going to take this off real quick right here, remove that. Let's take out the overhead lights. Okay, let's take the lights on. Let's see what we get on 200 lumens. And this is the kind of testing our screens have to go through. You know, this is the kind of this is the kind of uh, rigorous testing they have to go through. It doesn't make a point of taking 1,500 lumens, or taking 500 lumens, or taking uh, you know some of these projectors they have out here, and doing this with the projector sitting too close to the screen with not enough heavy light hitting the screen, very dark and shady environments, and you're trying to show that your technology actually works. It really doesn't work. Now keep in mind, 10 feet some change, I, I know I've said that multiple times, back from the screen. Fully lit environment on 200 lumens. Well, like I said, even the demonstrations I've seen on 50 lumens, that projector was sitting way too close to the screen. Alright, so now, we're going to come out of here, we're gonna, actually let me see, because you, you can't see Jack right now. Let me show you what we got here with our technology again. I love doing the outside demonstration on the screen, it's freaking fun. Alright, so let's go over here. Let's see what our screen is pulling up at 200 lumens. So this is what we get at 200 lumens from our screen in a fully lit environment. That's what we pick up. All right, let's take out our lights. See what our screen picks up with the lights out.
That's a 200 lumen projector, 10 feet back, and change. I like saying that. No 4K, no 1080p, no 2000 lumens, 3000 lumens, none of that. Now, let's add insult to injury. We're going to throw on 100 watt spotlights right on top of the screen. Oh, wait a minute. That's not enough light. Let's go over here and hit the other lights too because that's still not enough light. Got to add some more light in here, but it's just too dark in here, wasn't it? Now, you know the reason why I pull the camera all the way back? Because I have to show you the distance. If you're looking at this from a distance that you could still make out the picture, that's why. And I can bring it all the way up as far as you want. And all the way back. So that's the difference between our technology and cheap paint. All right, if my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain, showing you the difference of our technology than what's out there on the market. Because as I said before, you get what you pay for. You know, if you want the best from your projector's performance, and keep in mind that this screen is this screen paint is performing this well on a 200 lumen pocket projector, how much more it's going to look incredible on your projector of 3200 lumens, 2000 lumens, 720p, 1080p, 4K. If I'm pulling this up on 200 lumens. This is just gives you an idea on how powerful this stuff is. I do a lot of walk around in these demonstrations. Lights out. That's the difference between household, do it yourself, cheap screen paint, and our technology. Okay, gotta go. And just to add real quick, this is the kind of testing that our technology has to go through. This is why our screens thrive on such high levels. This is the kind of testing they go through. So when you look at our technology on our website, you check out our videos, this is the kind of testing we have to go through. I can take cheap, everyday paint from outside, from Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever. I can mix up in different shades and it still won't match our technology. All right, again, thank you all for your time. I do love what I do. This looks freaking crazy. Amazing. All right, I'm going to...